Well, Western New Yorkers are known for their generosity, and this morning we're going to introduce you to a food bank that cares for animals and by extension, people too. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. The Dalai Lama once said, the root of happiness is altruism, the wish to be of service to others. The Animal Food Bank of Western New York certainly knows this to be true. Their service extends to both animals and their human families, and they were inspired by the plight of others. My wife is a veterinarian, and we would have clients come in that would see her, and she would notice that their animals were losing a little weight or not doing that well. And through questioning them and, and found out what was going on, it, sometimes it would be that they were having a hard time feeding that animal. So what we would end up doing is going in our back room and grabbing some food and giving that to them to take with uh, to help them out. Through that need, the Animal Food Bank was born. We just want to collect as much food as we can and we want to deliver that food to other organizations who are involved with the community and the individuals and families that need that food. We want to help them get that food to the families that need it. One of the food bank's main partners is Feed More Western New York, formerly known as Meals on Wheels. They have a program called Animeals. It was a perfect match. They were one of our first recipients. Uh, we started back in 2016, and we collected at that point around 1,200 pounds of food, and we brought all of that food uh, here. So we provide cat and dog food to some of our Meals on Wheels clients who have pets um, who may have struggles getting out to purchase cat or dog food. Um, they may have monetary restrictions. Um, so we help them get that food because we realize that pets are really important to these uh, to our clients. The impact on the people served by these programs cannot be overstated. Sometimes we find that our clients, because their pets are so important to them, will share their turkey or they'll share their ham or you know whatever it may be with their pet because they want to make sure that the pet is, is fed as well. Um, and we certainly don't want to take any food out of the, the mouths of the clients that we serve because it's so important to their health and their well-being. Um, so, we, you know, we want to provide that pet food so they don't have to make that difficult decision between feeding themselves and feeding their pet. The collaboration between these two groups is yet another example of the strength of the Western New York community. Sometimes it can be the difference between being able to keep that pet in the home or losing them. And we really want to help out with that. We are the city of good neighbors and, um, you know, it, it's a good feeling to be able to help someone who, who needs help, whether it be a human or a pet. Taking you to the outdoors. I'm Terry Belke.